how to hire and grow a loyal team of good people. In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the full LSC framework that successful businesses use to hire, keep and grow a loyal team of good people who contribute their knowledge, their skills and their time to grow your business. If you're struggling to keep or find talented people to work in your business, you need to pay close attention to the things I'm going to show you in this lesson. And later in this lesson, I'll tell you more about the advanced program where you can get access to more detailed and advanced courses, get group coaching, network and collaborate with other like-minded entrepreneurs like you who are building their businesses and belong to a supportive community that would help to keep you committed and motivated. So, the LSA framework is made up of three major parts that ensure a business is able to consistently attract, hire and keep good and talented people. And if you understand how this framework works, you'll be able to finally leverage a team of loyal and passionate employees who will help you build the business of your dreams. The first part of the framework is leadership. The second part is systems and the third part is culture. I'm now going to explain each part of the framework a bit more so you understand the role they play in helping a business hire and keep good, loyal and talented employees. The first part of the framework, leadership, is the most important part of hiring and keeping good people. The hard truth is, poor leadership inspires poor followership and the kind of people or team a business has is often a reflection of the kind of leader it has. In summary, your job as the leader of the business is to attract, influence and inspire good people to work for you. These, these three keywords are the cornerstone of leadership. Your job as the leader of the business is to set the direction you want the business to go, properly and constantly communicate that mission to your people so that everybody knows where the business is going and then through your decisions, behavior, actions, words and body language, influence everybody in the business to go in the right direction. That's essentially what leadership is. But in my experience, one of the big reasons employees start leaving a business or don't want to work in a business is when they are not sure or confident about the direction the business is going or if they don't believe or trust their leaders. And most times, this is simply a communication or perception problem. Also, people will start leaving your business if your decisions, your behavior, your actions, your words and your body language are not in line with the stated direction of the company. In other words, if what you say or promise to your people is different from what you actually do, you are not going to attract or keep good people. Remember, human beings are social animals and we tend to model our leaders. As a result, people are more likely to believe in and follow a leader who knows where he or she is going and passionately believes in the mission of the business. Inside the advanced program, I'm going to show you the key traits of leadership that attracts and retains good people who are likely to want to stay on your team. Also, I don't believe leaders are naturally born or naturally selected. I believe good leaders can make themselves. I believe leadership is a skill and like most skills, it can be learned, it can be mastered with practice. While there are some traits and temperaments that can help an entrepreneur to become a good leader, leadership is actually a skill that can be learned and mastered. For example, there is no one type of leadership, rather there are styles of leadership, sometimes depending on different situations and the type of employees you're dealing with, you may need to play the role of a boss, the role of a coach or the role of a partner and inside the advanced program you'll learn more about these skills and leadership styles. The second part of the framework is systems for finding, hiring and retaining good and talented people in your business. In fact, every successful business has about seven systems that help it to consistently build a good team. The first system is sourcing. You need to have a way of finding and attracting good candidates who may be interested in working for you and your business. The second is selection. You need to have effective strategies for selecting the, the right candidates out of a pool of options. The third is onboarding. Some people call this orientation. So after a person agrees to work in your business, after they agree to join your business, 
you need to have a way of helping them find their feet. How to become, you need to help them find a way to be familiar with the organization and understand the work that they do, that they need to do for your business to succeed. The fourth system you need is the administration side of having employees. Things like payroll, that's paying, their, paying your employees' salaries, um, leave, managing leave, insurance, legal compliance, um, taxes, health and safety, and pension obligations are just a few of the most important administration needs of employees that you have to take care of. The other system you need is an empowerment system. To keep people engaged and growing, you need to empower them to get better by learning and acquiring new knowledge and skills. Now, one of the big reasons why people leave a business is that they feel like they're not growing or making progress. They feel stuck and stagnant. And when good, good and talented people feel this way, because they're not getting training opportunities, because they don't feel that they're growing, they'll start looking for options elsewhere. The next important system you need is a performance evaluation and, feed, and feedback system. If people work for you and there's no way for them to know how well or badly they're doing, that confusion will likely affect their performance and their commitment and loyalty to your business. You, you must have a formal way of letting your people know how they're doing and what they're doing well and the areas they need to improve on. And your people too should have a way of letting you, their leader, know what their challenges are and how you can help them do their work better and finally one of the last systems you need for which in, in or from my experience i found that many businesses either intentionally or unintentionally skip the system is a progression or exit system and this is an area that many entrepreneurs and businesses ignore you need to have a system for good people to progress in your business and a way for poor performance to improve or leave the business if you treat everybody the same way you will be discouraging your top performers from doing their best work and encouraging your poor performers to keep pulling everybody back but when your team knows that good performance will be rewarded and poor performance will lead to getting fired or you know having taking them um, uh, remedial action that's when exciting things start to happen in your business so inside the advanced program i'm going to take you deeper into each of these seven systems so you understand how you can create strategies that will take care of sourcing selection onboarding administration empowerment performance evaluation and feedback and the progression and exit um, systems that your business needs to consistently attract keep and grow a good team of loyal people the third part of the framework is the culture now Remember, human beings are social, uh, are social creatures and the moment two or more people have to interact as a group and work together to build a business, culture automatically develops. Culture is how people in your business treat themselves and how they treat each other. Culture is how you and your people treat your customers, your suppliers, your distributors and all the other people who work within or outside your business. In summary, Culture is about the general attitude and behavior of people in your business, especially, now note this, especially when the owner of the business is not around. Your people may pretend when you're around, but how they behave when you're not there is the true culture of your business. Now, every organization has a culture. Some businesses have strong and supportive cultures, while others have weak and toxic cultures. The strange thing about the culture of a business is that it is always there. It's always there, whether you intentionally build it or not. Let's do a little experiment. The next time you walk into a supermarket, a bank, a laundry shop, or any local business in your area, observe how the, how the staff treats you as a customer and how the manager treats the, the employees and how the employees treat each other. Are they cheerful? Are they friendly and helpful? Or do they have a straight face? Do they sometimes ignore you? Or are they being too careful not to make mistakes? If you understand how culture works in business, you can immediately tell a lot about a company, an organization, or a business from the moment you meet the security staff at the gate or interact with the receptionist at the front desk. Culture is an important part of building solid teams because if your business has a strong, favorable, and supportive culture, you have a high chance of attracting and keeping the right people who will want to 
who will likely become loyal to your business. But if your culture is toxic, unfair and unsupportive, you are likely going to keep losing a lot of good people, no matter how much money you pay. Or if, if, the, if the pay is good enough, you end up only attracting people who work for you just for the money. The moment your business has um, trouble or goes through hard times and you're not paying as much as you used to, most of them are going to leave you. So you'll just be buying, you'll be buying mercenaries. You're not buying a team. All you have are just mercenaries working for you. So, in fact, the great thing about culture is that when your business has the right culture, you don't have to constantly police or manage or micromanage your team to do the right thing. They just automatically do the right thing, even when you're not there. However, a good culture hardly happens or grows by itself. You have to deliberately create it and constantly nurture it. A good culture is not automatic. Companies that have good culture, especially many of the successful uh, companies, notably Google, Apple, and a few others, the culture was deliberately built and is constantly nurtured because if you don't pay attention to culture, it can it can slip at any time. So you need to uh, deliberately create it and constantly nurture it. And inside the advanced program that comes after this introduction course, I'm going to show you some of the most powerful strategies for creating the right kind of culture that will support your business. Now, before I tell you more about the advanced program, let's recap this introduction course. In the first lesson, I talked about the amazing leverage that people power can provide uh, to a business and how the wealthiest and most successful entrepreneurs build their businesses by leveraging the knowledge, the skills, and the time of other people. In the second lesson, I introduce you to the seven core motivations that will make people want to work for you. And in this third lesson of the introduction course, I shared with you the LSC framework for, for attracting finding, hiring, and keeping good and talented people. So, if you're prepared to move beyond this basic introduction course into the full advanced program, here are six important things you need to know. First, the art and science of building a good team is one of the courses in our advanced program. Inside our program, there are advanced courses on there are other advanced courses on how to raise capital for a business, how to get customers and make more sales, how to successfully attract, how to successfully start up a business, how to identify great business ideas so you don't end up chasing the wrong business ideas and losing all your money, your time and your energy, how to develop investment ready business plans that can wow investors, how to build strong teams that run a business and several other important aspects of building a successful business. So starting in january 2020 i will be releasing the timetable for courses that will be delivered each month every month i'll be releasing new advanced courses on how to hire good and talented people in your business and other important aspects of building a successful business the second thing you should know is that all the lessons in our advanced training program are delivered online and you can move at your own pace and convenience without missing anything. As long as you have a device that has access to the internet, you'll be able to complete the lessons whenever you want from wherever you are in the world. So you don't need to travel anywhere or show up anywhere. All of the training and support is done online, just like with this course that you're, that you're going through right now. The third thing you should know is that you have the chance to ask as many questions as you want and get answers that are relevant to your business. Every business is different and it's likely you have questions, comments, or you need suggestions and recommendations about how to apply some of these strategies to work in your business. So it's not about generic advice. By joining the advanced program, you will be able to get specific advice and have access to me and my team, have access to our group coaching and be able to learn from other people and also learn and borrow from strategies that are working in other people's businesses and also get a lot of relevant answers to your questions. The fourth thing you should know is that by joining the advanced program, you will have access to an interactive community of other smart entrepreneurs just like you who are learning and building their own businesses. You have access to our private forum where you can connect, network and share ideas with other entrepreneurs and collaborate for potential partnerships and opportunities. The reality is you never know who you might meet in there that could help to improve and significantly grow your business. The fifth thing you should know is that joining a group of like-minded entrepreneurs would 
keep you accountable and motivated. Building a business on your own can be lonely, it can be frustrating, and it can be confusing. But by joining our private and supportive community, you will keep yourself motivated by learning from the journeys and the success stories and the strategies that other entrepreneurs are applying in their business. You will also stay accountable to yourself by setting business goals and sticking to them. And when you achieve important goals or milestones in your own business, you too will have the opportunity to share your own success story so you can inspire other people to keep learning and growing. And then the sixth and most important thing you would you should know is that joining the advanced program works like a monthly gym membership or a Netflix subscription. For only $37 a month, you can participate in all the courses inside our training program. It works like a buffet. For only $37 a month, you can take the course on hiring good people and building a loyal team. You can take the course on raising capital. You can take the course on developing investor-ready business plans. You can take the course on sales and attracting customers. Or you can take the course on any other area of business that you need help with. This is one of the most affordable and one of the most flexible training programs you would ever find. And the best part is you can cancel your subscription at any time you want and resume any time you want. So the reason is that it's at this low price is that a lot of businesses are still small and are still struggling. So, and a lot of them cannot afford the, the fees and um, the services of, of consultants. If I, had to, if I had to charge you on a one-on-one -on -one basis, of course, it would be significantly higher, higher than this. But when we do it as a group, everybody can pay significantly less and still get the full benefits of the program so these are all the benefits you get from joining our advanced training program and uh, of course joining our private community if you want to figure out how to successfully leverage people power to build your business this is your chance to learn to grow and to get mentorship if you want to if you prefer to avoid the most common mistakes that entrepreneurs make as they try to build a team this is the course for you. This is the program for you. If you're tired of constantly searching, recruiting, and losing good people in your business, this is your chance to do something about it. And if you're looking to build a business that can run independently of, of you and give you time to focus on the big picture because you have capable people, you now have the chance to make that happen. If you're ready to join the advanced program, click the link on this video right now. I'd like to say a big thank you for investing the time to complete this introductory course. If you'll be joining our private community of insiders, I can't wait to work with you as you take your business idea to the very next level. See you inside. Cheers and bye-bye.